Ah! It's one of these things. Bosh! Yeah! I like the uh, pipe! Thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm starting something new today because it is 30 year, 30 years, 20 years since Silent Hill 3, which I think is insane. So I've slapped the old Silent Hill collection back on the 360 because I haven't done it yet. Um, I've done on this channel Silent Hills 1, Silent Hill 2. I was thinking, do I just jump to 4? Because I really like 4, but no, I, I don't want to do a disservice to Silent Hill 3. Because Silent Hill 3 is actually probably a lot better than I remember it. So, basically, I'm just going to jump straight into a game of that. Because it's been so long for me. I don't really remember this game as well. And I know the uh, Silent Hill second movie was based loosely on Silent Hill 3. And some parts of the game might be considered violent or cruel. It's Silent Hill. So... And... Um, well... You, you'll find out who Valtiel is later on, but this centres around Heather. Now, if you watch Silent Hill 1, the little girl is Heather Mason. So, the poor kid just can't get away from the damn place, which is what I'm gathering here. But, uh, that's it, we'll, we'll watch watch the intro. I mean, as I said, it's been a very, very long time since i watched this intro. And I can't remember... I don't really remember the... Oh, hang on, is that maybe Harry? I like the way he looks like Sean Bean now. I mean, Sean Bean was actually really, really, really good casting for this Silent Hill movie, wasn't he? This is giving away a lot of the plot, I've just noticed. But... So, the whole impact is if you've never seen this before, and you say, oh, I want to see what the monsters look like, we'll just show them in the intro. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I'm vaguely remembering these things here. And I have no idea if this song is a uh, copyright infringement or not, so we're about to find out as well. Which I think is in nuts, because if you gave your song to a game, that's just tough. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, look, we're going to see all these bits coming up soon. You know what? I'm just going to skip into it. It showed far too much of it. Let's get on and start a new game of Silent Hill 3. And we start with more mystical symbols and... Okay. I mean, I'm not being funny. Silent Hill has single-handedly ruined fairgrounds, like, forevermore, hasn't it? I mean, look at this. Look at... The, I mean, a horse on a uh, merry-go-round is not meant to do that, like, let's be perfectly honest. And we're... Of course we're in Lakeside Amusement Park, of course we are. Which you remember from the first game where we had those horrible see-through jelly baby things. And the obligatory uh, Robbie the Rabbit there with his blood-stained face. I should bought my sister a plush of that. Where am I? Um, if you turn around, Heather, you see that you're in Lakeside Amusement Park. Holding a switchblade. Because that's a normal thing. Good old tank controls. I don't have a map of this area. That's the light. Good start, isn't it? Oh, it's quite obviously that door. That's quite obviously a do door. Hello? Dog! Can I just fight everything, like always? You weird zebra Pokemon split face dog.
I'm a bit annoyed this is the only weapon I've got. You get it pinned against a wall and then slash the crap out of it. Can I stamp on it? Silent Hill, you always stamp on everything. There we go. Go just curb stomp it. And there we go. Music stops, threat's over. I mean, do I. I do have health. Now I'm free to explore. That damn, 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 damn. Where you're walking is doing my nutting already. Lock is broken. Well, there's a light on here. That would imply that I can go in here, yeah? There we go. Can I get souvenirs? There's a rabbit stuffed animal here. They're obsessed with this bloody rabbit. I don't feel like eating. Look, it's free cookies. What? Why? Why? Why, why would you not enjoy the free cookies? I mean, a gumball machine. There are shirts. I don't think they help me at all. Well, it depends if you want to change a shirt. Head on with just a knife. But knowing your limits. Know your limits. Let's go on the platform. Yeah, when there's something monstrous chasing you, the best thing to do is go up, up. So it, oh yeah, come on. It's locked. It doesn't say locked broken. It just says it's locked. Okay, so let's not go any further, chip. I vaguely remember this. What was that? Come on now. <laughs> now I vaguely, vaguely, vaguely remember this bit. And I'm pretty sure no good comes of this, but let's just see. Um, you, 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 you'd see that and feel that so far before it came. And that is the worst advert for Alton Towers ever. <laughs> It's also scripted. <laughs> if you're thinking, oh, you're shit, you died already. No, it was a horrendous dream. As we rouse in a cafe. Far, far away. And the thing that doesn't escape me is Heather does look and dress similar to Ashley from Resident Evil. I mean, that's a horrid nightmare to have, especially, I mean, who sleeps in a cafe? A waitress would have prodded you by now, wouldn't they? More coffee? Wouldn't they? Oh, that was Happy Burger. It wasn't a cafe, it was... Getting bits in a hole in it. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Must be Olive Flower Paris Alpha. Anyway, I'm coming home now. I didn't get that thing you asked me to. <laughs> okay. I mean after the event silent in the one, how on earth do you just go back on with your normal okay, lives? I will. I love you too, Dad. As an ominous man in a Mac appears. <laughs> Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carton. I'm a detective. <laughs> you dress like one. 
A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. <laughs> I just... Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. <laughs> just let me have an hour. If somebody wants to meet you, if he then like pulls his trousers down, I'll be like, nope. <laughs> My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I mean, that's a weird thing to say to someone randomly in the as an opening gambit. Hi, you don't know me, but I'm a detective. I want to talk about your birth. funny it's just like this is like one of the oldest sort of creepers in video gaming history now I think I've got a save I guess someone's in there <laughs> have you ever knocked at the toilet door because I haven't oh okay this is a save point Your classic leg it out the bathroom window to get away from the creep. She runs really funny as well, I don't know if you've noticed it. She's kind of all arms and legs, like a crane fly. Lock is broken, lock is broken. Can't go that way, can't go that way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm always really bad at noticing notice boards because that's usually where the map is. Because you'll say, I don't have a map to say, I'm going to press Y. Wait, is that a door? No, it's just an electrical cabinet. Why, why, why am I fixated on an electrical cabinet? Ooh, another door. Lock is broken. I must admit, for a mall, it's very, very um, abandoned, isn't it? I mean, I can totally hear someone talking there. And that's obviously the way I gotta go. <laughs> that's when you find a colt on the floor. Yeah, I mean, your first instinct when you find a gun on the floor is pick it up, isn't it? That, ladies and gentlemen, officially, as you can see it, is called a closer. And I'm not going to be funny, its face looks like the end of a pee pee. Step back. I mean, that's not a normal day, is it? randomly just die. Had to go kick the shit out of it. Stamp on his head. Any monster, stamp on head. What the hell is this thing? Um, not right is the answer. And trust me, they get weirder from here on out. And she's looking at so what's she looking at? Some handgun bullets? tell from here it is dead is that oh is that what she's focused on she's or oh, they dropped something it's a dressing room no shit anyway 
that is our first encounter with the closer. So there'll be a few more of them in the journey to come. That's unlocked. Okay, that's a good. Thing. Is that a map? Please be a map. It's a map! Yay! Because you know what? I love filling in maps. Okay then. We're just going to check out the stairwell. Okay, so we can go in the stairwell. That's good. What about. What about. Wasn't there a door just here? Oh, it's the elevator. Oh, camera angles. I need. I need a torch because this is so flipping dark. They really scrimped out on the old lucky, didn't they? In this mall. Is that it for this? Yeah, that's it for this ish. Right, obviously, we've got to go back out. Actually, I unlocked these doors, didn't I? There, there, there'll be a purpose to that. There was always a purpose to that. And, oh, um, no, no, there, there really isn't. Which means I can get out if I really, really have to. But we're supposed to obviously go out to the stairwell. So we obviously can't go down because someone conveniently puts a uh, payload of pallets there. I thought there was a teenage girl literally running around with a pistol. In a... Excuse me. what they're called but that's weird wait is she looking at something on the floor then what is that she was that's the thing when their head moves and they they change their focus I'm always like ooh, ooh, what are they seeing other than a locked door Literally, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I suppose it's one way of funneling, but player. Oh, he took a lot of bullets, didn't he? Well, that's just all right. None looks like it's really useful. We've got the beef, beef jerky. Mmm, because that's. I like... <laughs> Lock is broken, and oh, I was gonna sing my song health drinks and bullets. Yes, as you can tell, I'm not playing this on a particularly hard difficulty because I want to shoot things. And there is a key, okay, so go get the key. Table on the floor, I think it might be a key. But I was a, no, you put your fingers through the gap, wouldn't you, and just flick it out, but. <sighs> okay, so there's a key in the room where the save point is. Helen's Bakery. Right, I can hear something squelching. I'm going to go in Helen's Bakery. Bread! It's bread. Thanks! I couldn't work that out. So glad we're here. Aha! We've got a pair of tongs. You going to explain to me what tongs are? It's bread. Um, actually, it's donuts. I think you'll find Heather that's actually donuts. And again, if I was helping myself to stuff, I would be rinsing this place of all its bready baked goods. That is a closer. Ow! For goodness sake, can we just die? Oh shit, there's another one! Run! Oh, for fuck's sake! I, I hate the way I wasn't able to. I can't run. Why can't I run past it? Right, fucker. You're gonna have some. Die. Right, well, that was exciting. You can have a kick. 
that is a bit annoying that if because it was in the way I couldn't get past it that was kind of bullshit right well that was a uh, boutique Marguerite I need a flashlight where is the flashlight my best sellers it's locked what's the bedding that key will be the way that you get in so sunshine sunshine princess oh, that sounds like a ship what is sunshine prince it's, what is your business right well i can go back to that room now get use those tongs to go grab that key and i'm guessing it goes into that bookshop That's a key. I mean, a storage room full of books and a key for a bookshop. Got the key taken with tongs. Uh, where's the. There we go. My best sellers. And we're in a bookshop. There are magazines on the shelf. Brilliant. Bullets! Bullets, 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 bullets. Employees only. It's locked. There's a key pad. How? Hmm. So I need to get a code to get through said door. What? I just picked up. A... Hang on. What? What book did I just pick up? So it says none of the books are interesting, yet I, con I went in and picked up a book. Okay. Oh, a Shakespeare anthology. Hold on. I remember this. This is supposed to be. I wonder which ones on the floor belong. Okay. the way you have to do this you go yeah well one book goes in there oh for flip's sake that one goes there and that one goes there seven six nine and there's my code thank you very much it's again seven why you'd like the Six, nine, one. It's unlocked. There we go. Thank you, employee, for writing it on your um book. Uh oh. Hey, wait. What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters. They've come to witness the beginning. I mean, is she meant? Is Claudia meant to be Tilda Swinton? Unspoiled or despoiled? You, your subtitles were slightly wrong there. Don't you know? Your power is needed. Never trust anyone with no eyebrows. I am Claudia. So what? And your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Okay. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Claudia, you psychic. It's super effective. I'm just going to sashay off now that I've said my really weird religious piece. Sounds like more like she's metal sound, which is super effective. Lowered your special attack. What does she want me to remember? 
Hey, we've got a lot more doors which won't open. What's that? Lumber room? Radio. What's going on with that radio? The fact they're static means there's some enemy somewhere. Oh, we are full blade inside of him now, aren't we? Look at this. Can't be a bit of mesh. Love a bit of mesh. And what? What was that? Is this a dream? It's gotta be. Well, yeah, because uh, lifts don't tend to do that. Wait, is she still in the lift? Oh yes, and industrial fans. We love industrial fans. My control pad is vibrating like hell. Oh, and we've just gone into alt mode. Classic Silent Hill alt mode, or other world as they like calling it, and it's very dark. And I want a flashlight. Please be a flashlight in here. Well, that looks like hell's drink, hell's drink, hell's drink, hell's drink. Cool. Someone was really buffing it there, weren't they? An ampoule. Is I'm hoping this is a medical facility. Oh, that's safe point. I can't see a damn thing. I wasn't expecting that to be there. I'm gonna knife you now because you made me fucking jump. I can't believe I just screamed then. Come here! I will knife the shit out of you. Don't run off! I know you're camouflaged. Come here. Come here and be knifed. This knife is so crap. When I played this on the original uh, PS2, um, after you complete it, you get a lightsaber, and that was just the best weapon ever. It wasn't the strongest, it was just certainly the funniest. Where is it gone? Oh, fuck. Maybe, maybe, maybe it took the hint and went away. It's not gone away, is it? I just wasn't expecting to see it there. Things jumping out in the fucking darkness. Bastards. I mean, one thing I always hate about the old tank control is it's the uh, camera angles. The camera angles are always add to the tension because they're just so bad. I always end up holding the left trigger just to keep that chase viewing. Oh my god, he's got a friend. Would you just die, please? I don't care what it is, if you stab it enough times it doesn't live. Open shit, it's a close up. Um, um, weapons. Alright, you fucking ugly bastard. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Alright, dickless. Coming in. With your fucking willy fucking arms and willy head. There! Down you go. Down and down you go. And the quarterback is toast! Always kick them. What the hell is your problem, girl? Oh, hang on, she's got a block button, has she? That's interesting. Can we please just kill the dog? Where is it? Oh, we're just going to sit there and just chase it forever more. There we go. Took long enough, didn't it? Lock is broken. Pads rum. You know what? I'm just gonna have a health drink because I've got enough of them. Oh, hold on. We're in the same room where we first encountered the closer, meaning we've literally been here before. So I know for a fact this goes. Excuse me. What? What was that? Did something just fall over? If only I had a flashlight. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's quite obviously a hanger. Ugh, fuck's sake. Yeah, for goodness sake. There we go. Finally, that was beyond ironic that you have to turn the light off to see where the light is. Freaking irony. Silent Hill and your tricksy little puzzles, eh? Well, it's a lot better now I've got a flipping flashlight. I've got a hanger. Lock is broken. Okay, something's got to be around. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, that's why I need a hanger. Silly me. Are you, you said hanger? To form some kind of grapple. So much of this game I just don't remember. I think the thing that does annoy me in general with uh, characters in survival horror games is they're always so lame. You know what I mean? It's just like... I mean, I'm not expecting it to be a super soldier, I'm not expecting it to be Captain America, but there is kind of a degree of lameness that they always seem to be. And that, that, why is there a gurney in the mall? Did I ever tell you I hate the Silent Hill hospitals? Because I hate the Silent Hill hospitals. Um. Uh. All right, it's knife time. You weird, faceless raptor. This 
versus Dynasty Warriors. Heather, this will be over a lot quicker if you learn to fucking stab something. Slashing it isn't going to kill it, is it? It's quite clearly a monster. So put your morals aside for a second and stab the fucking thing. I mean, look at it. Freaking gross little bastard. A bunch of dismembered mannequin... Manne mannequins. Health drink, handgun, bullets. Excelente. It's unlocked. Ooh, unlocked. Me. Hello. Hello. Not good. What is it? I hear something walking. Well, it's certainly squelching anyway. It's locked. Okay, so we've got a locked door, so that's where we're meant to go. Monstrosity. Oh, flipping out, that was close. And a boot to the head. There we go. Let's switch back to the knife before I end up actually using all my bullets up. Although, you know, something like a big stick of wood would be great right about now. Or metal pipe. Ooh, ooh, metal pipe. Ooh, lovely. Lovely. And, ooh, we can go in here. What is in here? That is a walnut. What? Why do I need a walnut? And why would you think of all the things to pick up, a walnut is the one thing you kind of gravitated towards. More gurneys. Oh yay. Can't go that way. Oh, a safe point. Oh, the escalator to nowhere. I'm on the road to nowhere. What about this escalator? Is this one as equally as useless as the other one? Yes, yes it is. It, it's literally an escalator to a giant chasm. Where the hell am I meant to go? Oh, how frustrating. Maybe I can go up. I can go up. That's where I was meant to go. With my... Um, hello? Well, there's light coming from here, so I'm guessing this is a door where there's... You can, one can enter. What the fuck? What is this? Barbecued dog? Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who would eat it? There's something in the dog's stomach. I got a cooked key. There is a slight racist joke I thought of then and thought better of it, but never mind, we're just gonna gloss over that. It's locked. The door has a red crescent and a round den. Something's written in colour red. Piling up the 300th day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard, and the final destination become real, though not a blessed beginning. Right, well that's a ridiculous thing to write in a door. Which means more puzzles are afoot. Except that lock is broken, and that lock is broken. And, oh, that one isn't. Okay. More toilets. Um, okay. Nothing of interest in here whatsoever. Well, 
What about here? That lock is broken. So I have a walnut, and it. Don't tell me the walnut fits in the in the dent. Don't tell. Really? I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. No, I can't use that here. Yeah, who would put a walnut in a door? What's about that barbecue dog was key is for that locked door here. Yes, yes, progress. Cafe, health drinks. Oh, 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 metal. Yes, steel pipe, steel pipe, steel pipe, steel pipe. Fuck the knife. It's clobbering time. You, 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 there's nothing more satisfying than clonking something with a big pipe. And what? What is? Oh, just a menu. Just another menu. Can we go out here? We can go out here. Oh man. What is it? Ah. It's one of these things. Bosh. Yeah. I knight the sir pipe. I love having a pipe. That's not a door. That's not a door. Hey light bulb. Hey Christmas tree. Oi, oi. Donk. Mallet's mallet. Got a locked door. What? What's that? Beef jet. Is the beef jerky for like attracting the enemies, and then you can just clobber them? Because that's twice now I've picked up beef jerky. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I love a bit of beef jerky. Or biltong specifically. To the industrial, are they just on a big loop? Yes, I've literally gone back on myself. What a fool! Stand on glass porches and swing life away. As I just blunt force trauma those things. Is there anything of any significance in here? Like a door, perhaps? Oh, man. Camera angles, come on. Did. Hold on, what the f fuck is that? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that so much so I'm going to show you my gun because I clearly can't hit this. 
wildly rotating insectoid Oh, there's, there's another one. Is that one definitely dead? Right. Oh, fuck. This, thing, this thing's like a, some fucked up Pokemon. Oi! I literally didn't notice that thing at all then. That was fucked up and weird. I didn't like that. They were guarding this door, which can't be opened. How strange. I love the way that my kind of initial reaction is always combat first, and then we'll try and work out where we're supposed to go. Another gurney. Another... oh. A safe point. The stain on the restraint is shaped like a human. Yeah, that's um. In the middle of the platform, some kind of vice. Can I take. Wait, I wonder what's in that walnut. Crunch. A jewel. A moonstone. What's the betting that opens that door? But I think we will find that out next time. This went on way longer than I thought it was. That's a lot of editing for me to do. So guys, that is the first part of Silent Hill 3. We are in we're trying to get out of the mall here at the moment. That stuff's got really, really messed up. But guys. Um, I think I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to say if you have come this far thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me if you like this video please drop a little like have subscribe to the channel if you're new here so yeah as I said 20 years since Silent Hill 3 it's been very different going back to it because I don't really really remember this game the same way I remember Silent Hills 1 and 2 so this is quite interesting so new series new series has started now Silent Hill 3 hopefully I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks but until then thanks again for watching stay safe and I will see you next time take care